All right. Whew. Oh, hopefully you guys are still with me. Um, that was quite the process going through the outside. That, I promise, is the most complex part of the entire build. Um, the backyard might be a little bit complex, but it, it makes sense. Um, so now that we have this outside area done, let's get to the inside. So let's go in the front door. Oh, I think I added a little column there for support there. Um, but on the inside, so I've got this area. Um, we need to place a second floor. So um, the second floor goes four up. So one, two, three, four, and then place a block and then another, another block. So this is a two wide floor so that we can put lights in the ceiling without affecting the upper floor, which is always nice. If you can try to do that, it, it helps a lot. Um, let's, hmm, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I'm thinking about something else. All right, so let's fill in this area with um, floor. So I'll just fill all this out. Oh, also, so this second floor only goes to right here, this one right here. So in between those, oh, I think that's too far up. In between those two windows there, there, this is where the end of the second floor. So then this back area will be nice and big. You'll see those windows up there and it, it's just a nice large area. Um, so the second floor ends right there. So don't go further than this. Um, and you'll, sh you should be good. So. Let me fill in this area right here, and I'll get back to you in a second. All right, guys. So I placed the second floor, and so it goes clear out just to this wall. Um, let's build up this wall real quick, help you visualize this. So this wall all the way up. Okay, and leave a doorway there. All right, so this is kind of... I, I got my inspiration from a Sims 3 house I was watching a while back, and just this area was my inspiration. So... um. Here, right where this wall meets the second floor, go in one. It just makes this little area look a little bit better. It's like that. And then we're going to be having stairs right here. Let's throw those in right now, actually. And the floor is not going to be glowstone. That's just um, for another purpose. Um, it's covering the second or the basement. Um, but you start, so one in, place some half blocks. I'm going to be using half blocks for the stairs. I feel like they're more modern than the stair block. So if we go up all the way to here and then place some wool. And then we're just going to go outside of that and place wool all the way down like that. So then there's our staircase. Um, you can put some glass panes on here right now if you want. But um, So this, the stairs go up, and then you need to leave a one, two, three, and then a wall. Oh, that is not wool. So a wall right here. All the way over, and then there's going to be a two-wide door right there. But this is going to be another wall. Um, let's actually throw that in right now. All the way over to here. Set white. Okay. So now, so you've got a wall that's just three blocks in from that previous wall we had. Um, this is just kind of a cool little balcony for getting up to the master suite, because this is going to be the master bedroom up here. And um, the the way this place is split up is pretty simple. Um, just bring this little wall right here and bring it all the way through. Oh, oh, it's very dark. Let's throw in a few lights. We don't want any bats spawning. They're quite annoying. All right, so this wall throw another wall in like this. All right, set white. Oh, I don't know if you guys know this, but so in creative mode, um, world edit is a little bit buggy in single pair commands if you're in creative mode. If you're in survival, um, it works great, but you can't break blocks and place infinite blocks. So that's one little thing that's kind of annoyance. But um, my fix for this, so when you're selecting an area, this is just a quick little tutorial, um, place a block on top of the block you want to select and then make sure you're pointing at that bottom block and then select and it'll select that block instead of the block that you just destroyed. So please take note of that. Whenever you're selecting with the first position, so left click, um, it will select the block below or behind the block that you destroy in creative mode. Um, right click always works. So just keep that in mind when you're working with single player commands right now. All right. So I think it's one, two, three, four, and then there's a door and then there's a wall there. One, two, four. All right. So this wall here. And that is the space, space, <laughs> the space split up. Blah, blah, blah. So there's going to be a bathroom here, big old bathroom, um, with a tub here whoop, with the skylight. So this is the bathroom and then um, the closet here. So if you didn't see that, so in four, doorway, and then one, and then the wall is right there. And that is the master bedroom, second floor. <sighs> All right, so now that we have that, um, let's build up the walls here. Actually, this right here is not a wall. This is going to be a... Um, 
which we call a counter for the kitchen, because the kitchen is right here. So let's just build up this wall real quick. This will be the kitchen area. So I'll have a fridge there and counter space wrapping around. And so then you just got kind of a cool little nook area for the kitchen. And then we'll put dining out here and a uh, fireplace again right there and some just living space. All right, so let me build up these walls real quick. Again, the dimensions should be in a file in the description. Um, so I'll get back to you in a second. All right, so I just built up the walls. Okay, so coming in the front door, let me explain the space a bit. So through the front door, we've got, this is just kind of a little entryway. And then an office will be here. So this is a big old office room. Probably put a desk in that little indent there. Um, and then over here, if you follow this hallway, it goes all the way to the back. But right here, that goes to the garage. And we'll probably put some, like, I don't know, lockers if we can. I'm not sure how a locker would look in Minecraft, but if I can do that, we'll put lockers in here. And then um, there's a there'll be a bathroom here. So the main floor bathroom. And then a pantry in here for the kitchen. And that's the main floor. Um, also, there's a hallway that leads from the office into the living area. So there's also that. All right. Um, let's see. We need to do some flooring. So um, I'm in survival mode right now, so I don't have to place a block to fix all this. Um, let me explain the basement real quick. So let's just break in. Okay, so this is the basement. Anyway, um, so this right here coincides with that wall. So this is right under the stairs. So this wall goes right underneath that wall and the hallway underneath the hallway. So that's, that's pretty easy. All this basement goes right along with the upper floor, um, except for there's no little corner jutting out over here as well as um, there's no garage. So the garage will be right there. Replace 89 um, 0. There. Okay, so this should actually help. Um, <laughs> I didn't really think about that. So you can see the walls go straight down to these walls and so that that's helpful. Um, actually, yeah, this wall goes straight down to this wall so that, that's really helpful. Um, this whole thing is it just goes along with the rooms up here really well um, except for this right here. So that hallway I cut it off here, so you've got a little 3x3 three three closet here. And then um, just continue this wall all the way over. Um, so you got this right here that goes with that. And then I just made little closets for the bedrooms. I'll put double doors here for the closets. So just a little closet area for those. And then this room's kind of a weird shape, but it works. And then this one's just square. Um, so hopefully this all made sense. This is where the walls go. This is goes right underneath and right underneath. So this should all make sense. Let's let's fill in some walls, and then I'll, um, it should look a little bit better. Um, be back in a sec. All right, hopefully this lets you visualize this area a little bit better. And stupid back, get out of here. Um, anyway, um, so I filled in the walls, and now um, you can see I placed some columns to show that they all line up. And so once you have this all laid out, so everything lines up, and then so bathroom, two bedrooms, a little theater area, and then this big old area. Um, once you have that all done, um, we are going to have a too thick floor as well down here so that we can have some lights in the ceiling without affecting the main floor. So I'll just fill in the entire floor now and then I'll get back to you. All right, guys. So I built up the walls and the basement has got grass on the floor, but <laughs> we'll, we'll fix that in a minute. Let's put in these stairs. So right underneath the stairs up above, so go down right here, and so leave a three wide space in front of that door, and then go straight down from there, and just dig out this area underneath the stairs, like that, I believe. And then we need the... I had to go kill some bats, so I had a sword. Um, yeah, let's start right here. So place your half blocks going down. Again, I think half blocks are a little bit more modern than the stair block. All right, so now we've got our downstairs. And then let's let's quickly do the floors and then we'll do our pseudo furnishing. Finally, <laughs> I know you guys are like, oh, let's get to the pseudo furnishing. That's our favorite part. Um, let's fill this in. OK, so flooring, um, let's change over to survival. And there's a bat somewhere, and I don't know where he is, and it's killing me. <laughs> um, this front area. Let's let's do this in some spruce wood. So, slash, slash, set, wood, colon, one. So, like that. 
And then we're gonna need that one as well. Oh, ooh, creative mode. <laughs> Survival mode. See, that's kind of annoying about single player commands. Um, okay, so spruce wood here, and then let's take this spruce wood all the way back to here. That. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, alright. So then you've just got this kind of hallway going all the way back. And then, let's see. This kitchen space. Let's, let's do this kitchen in, um, uh, half slabs. So let's set 43. That's double half slabs. And then, oh, <laughs> I guess just set these as well. Oh, like that. So then you've got the kitchen kind of in a tile area. And then, um, how about, hmm, what if we set uh, this area, oh, that one, to wood. Oh, man. And so then it just kind of gives it a little bit. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking to myself. Um, as well as this right here, this strip. Like that. Actually, let's just get this last piece. There we go. All right, so, and then, um, yeah, we can leave this area as wool, so it's got kind of a carpet feel. And um, then over here, let's see. So this is going to be kind of a locker room area. So let's um, set this area as the stone, some light, um, as well as, I think, the garage. So let's get the garage going over here, clear over here, 43. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good garage floor. And then, um, this, I think, let's just do this wood. So like that. Because wood floor is easy to clean up. There we go. Alright, so we got a little entryway from the garage, and then the kitchen. And then just kind of split up here, um, like this wood as well. And... I think we're gonna make the office wood as well. So let's, this one, all the way over to here. Wood. And then here to here. So wood. How about we continue this? Whoa. <laughs> Knock my mouse around. Um, let's continue this wood through this hallway and meet up with this wood here. So like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right. And then, um, so I've got this office. Let's fill in this area real quick. So I've got wood all throughout here. So office and then, oh, yeah. <laughs> office and then here's like the little... Entry away from the garage with some lockers. And then this will be a bathroom. Hmm, bathroom. What shall the bathroom be of? We can do 43. It's kind of cold for a bathroom. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Yeah, and then um, pantry will be the stone as well. So like that. Alright, so here's the main floor. Um, it may change a little bit once I start furnishing, but this is a good basis. And then upstairs. Let's go up. Um... Should we change this to something? Let's try wood. No, that's not wood. <laughs> wood. And then you clear... Oh, lag out. Clear over here. It's wood. And you got kind of a different material there. Yeah, that looks good. And then um, the bedroom, I think, will keep wool. Just to kind of keep that feeling of comfort. Um, the bathroom might change. This is going to be the bathroom, and then the closet will keep wool as well. So, I'm not sure about this bathroom. Again, like, I'm not sure about the using half slabs, but that, that should work. Alright, so now downstairs. Let's change this from grass. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. So, let's set this area all the way over here. We're going to set it as... I think I want to do that, like, the wood. Um, so, this will be that alteration of... It'll be the spruce... Normal oak wood and birch wood that you've seen from me before. And then from here on, let's throw in, um, get rid of that and then add some more. Let's make that all carpeted. So that will be all wool. Oh, oh. So that all the way over to this corner. See, you can hear that bat and I don't know where it is. It's killing me. Where's wool? Wool. Okay. Very white. It may be a different color. We'll see. And then the bathroom again. Not quite sure. We can try lapis. I don't know if that would look very good. La oh. That might be just good for like a shower. Lapis. Lazuli. Oh, that's one word. Like that. Yeah, it's kind of whew, crazy. <laughs> and then um, this wall might change so that it makes it darker in here. So that this will be more of a theater um, feel. So this may not stay as a white wall. All right. So let's pseudo furnish real quick and then... I'll finish it off and give you guys a tour. Um, oh, except we need to do the backyard. Oof. Goodness. Goodness. Um, wow. 
backyard. So, um, remember this little tiered area right here? How I said it would help with the backyard? Um, crap, I can't remember how far out. Let me go double check and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I went and checked. Um, this needs to go out 10. So, from these little tiered areas, the second one down, go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then go over and meet up with that other column. So like that. And then from this one, so you go up one, and then go out another two, and then connect. And then you should see where this is going, this one. Go up one, and go out until out two from that one. And then you'll have kind of an interesting looking little area. So then fill in inside that with cobble. And then once you've got this done, we'll put some support beams. So cobble all through here. Oh. Almost there. Goodness, guys, this was quite the let's build. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how many parts this is going to be because this is probably the most complex one I've ever done. Um, hopefully you guys like this massive mansion. This is a proper, proper mansion. It's got multiple bedrooms, multiple bathrooms, and it's just huge. It's it's massive. Like, the villa was pretty big, but I wouldn't say Biggs's mansion is much of a mansion. This is a mansion. <laughs> All right, so support beams. So this inside right here, place some wool blocks right there, and then a single thing of cobble in between. And just do that on each one. All right, and then this one. And finally that. All right, so then you got it looking like that. So isn't that kind of cool? I'm going to be putting some tables under there for just eating, and then we'll have a pool out here. Um, the backyard's kind of another let's build in and of itself. Goodness, um, let's see. Um, how, how am I going to do this? So I need some bushes. And then got two, I believe, and then um, from this one, we need to go back 36. Oh, oops, that's not going to work. Alright, so I'm going to place something there. How long is that? Oh, 34, so I'm going to go two more. I'm going to clear this space out. Okay. Alright, so if I place one here, that is 36. Alright, so oh, I don't think I can set leaves. I think they'll just despawn. But anyway. So this needs to go back 36 from the garage. Whew. It's going to be a pretty large backyard. And then, um, except it won't completely go to there. Um, let me do a little bit of landscaping and I'll get back to you. <laughs> All right, guys. So I did a little bit of, well, sort of landscaping. I'll make this look better in the final area uh, or the final tour but um i had to clear out some area so this goes back until so here is the 36th block right here but it needs to have four blocks in between like that and then same thing over here four blocks one two three four in between and it meets up with this column right here and this um is just kind of the fence for the backyard i'll put probably two high bushes all the way around here but um, I need to give you a little bit of a layout here. Um, most of this floor area will be this dark spruce wood. Um, it just turned out to look pretty good. Um, so let's see, where, where do we start? Okay, so under here will be tables and chairs and stuff. And then, so this middle column here, and just one off right here. So follow this white column back with some bushes. So like that, and then along in the middle, in, or in front of that column, and then one, two away from that one, 
So then you've got an area like this. So one, two, three, four, five by whatever it takes to get to that back area. Um, and then um, you need to make an opening here. Let's see. All right. So this is going to be where a hot tub is, kind of a large one. Um, and I made it kind of private so that it's got some bushes around and then there'll be some water flowing into it. And then this is a little bit of a private dining area. So you've got a big old dining area here for parties and then a little bit more private one back here. And um, let's see. So a pool is going to go in here. <sighs> Uh, I can't remember the exact shape and where it goes, but um, how about I just build it and I'll come back and tell you guys in the tour exactly how I did certain things and how you can replicate them. So, um, yeah, it's kind of complex and we'll figure it out. Um, so once I have that all done, um, we'll get back. Anyway, pseudo furnishing. And then it's time to give a tour. Alright. Oh. 